become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to start a new series on powerlifting pioneer and legend Joseph Curtis Hees and his experiments with many powerlifting techniques with today's focus being on the 20 rep squat. Ever since introducing the 20 rep squat on this channel, I've received countless emails asking me to further discuss this topic. So today I thought I would go into the history of the 20 rep squat and detail the experiments of Joseph Curtis Heath. In this video, I will briefly introduce him and explain how he, through trial and error, discovered the 20 rep squat routine. And I'm also going to talk about his results with this program. This series and tribute is long overdue on this channel, and I do hope that you enjoy this new series. And just as an extra, today's information does come from very uh, different sources of magazines, all the way from the 1930s and 1940s, from issues such as Strongman, Strength, and Iron Man magazine. Enjoy. Joseph Curtis Heath was born in 1905 in Scotland, Illinois, USA. And it is said that at an early young age, he battled pleurisy several times, and this actually stopped when he started exercising. As a trade, he uh, was a lumberjack and lived in the mountains. Now, moving on to his pioneering work with the squat. Um, after training, it is said that after training with the Milo Barbell courses initially, um, he found some success, and his weight shot up from about 160 pounds to 180 pounds. Finding though that he couldn't further increase his weight, that is his body weight, he decided to incorporate the deep knee bend or otherwise known as the squat, as opposed to the Steinborn squat, which was popular at the time. He had already read about the flat footed version of the squat, um, which where you take the barbell off the racks, unlike the Steinborn squat, where you have to actually uh, load the barbell um, onto your back by lifting it off the floor. And he had, wrote, he had read about this, the, the version, the modern version of the squat uh, in Mark Berry's publications such as Strongman in the early 1930s. And then he decided to experiment with this novel exercise at the time, and he found his weight shot up again from 180 pounds to 200 pounds. Realizing the effectiveness of the squat, he decided to experiment further and he abbreviated his program, which consisted of the press behind the neck for 15 reps, followed by barbell curls, and he focused heavily on the squat, performing only three sets as follows. He would load the bar with a heavy weight and squat for two sets of eight repetitions. After these two sets, he would remove 100 pounds off the bar and perform 20 reps with with the barbell on his back so he would do 20, a 20 rep squat set and he found that after doing this program this very abbreviated program for 30 days his weight shot up to 229 pounds and that is a gain an insane gain of 29 pounds in one month which was unheard of at the time he wrote about his experience and his results to Mark Berry of Strongman magazine and these results were published in the February 1932 issue of Strongman as shown in this diagram here. Now here he's his initial results, his reported measurements after his initial experiment with a 20 rep squat and here are the measurements as follows. He, he had a, a weight gain from 200 to 229 pounds. That's right, a 29 pound increase in one month. His chest went up from 43 and a half inches to 46 and a half. His arms went up one inch, going from 15 and a quarter inch to 16 and a quarter inch. His thigh shot up two and a half inches from 29, from, sorry, from 25 and a half inches to 28 inches. And his calves grew also another inch from 14 and a half inches to 15 and a half inches. His forearms grew about half an inch from 12 and uh, 12 and three eighths of an inch to 12 and seven eighths of an inch. And his waist also shot up from 36 to 41 inches. And I repeat, all of these gains were made in one month. That is what is so incredible. That is what is so, um, yeah, just mind blowing really at the time. We're talking in the 1930s, mind blowing results. 
Now, after these mind-blowing results, Joseph Heese wrote to Mark Berry stating the following incredible effects of his new 20 rep squat routine. Although I exercised for years, I never knew that the leg work increased the chest and lungs. I thought it was the chest exercise that spread the chest until I read your article in Strongman. On top of the 20 rep squat routine, he in, um, incorporated and invented the, the GOMAD diet, which you probably have already heard of on my channel, where he would drink one gallon of milk a day, along with eating meat twice a day, and in particular, salted pork, which as he claimed, increased his thirst, and this actually therefore helped downing the gallon of milk that he was known to drink every single day. Now, after realizing the incredible potential of the 20 rep squat program, he's continued his experiment and definitely reaped the benefits. He initially started with the 20 rep squat using 240 pounds and later on progressed to 320 pounds on the squat. And then even further after that, uh, progressed to using 365 pounds. And at the age of 26, he was already weighing 200, almost 240 pounds and eventually got his body weight up to 298 pounds. That's right, almost 300 pounds. And overall, after several years, approximately uh, uh, four to five years of using the 20 rep squat routine, he got his body weight up almost 100 pounds. Remember, he started off at 200 pounds and his weight eventually shot up 100 pounds to 298. Incredible, at, at the age of 30, that is. And more incredible was his girths. Um, his arms shot up to 19 and a half inches, his chest to 56 and a half, thighs 33 inches, and a height of 5'10". Now, I know that he is not the most conditioned person in the world, and he was, he was considered a strong man. And so conditioning is not, is, not, is not as important as in bodybuilding. However, these girths, which were considered unachievable at the time, um, were incredible. And even to this day, they are very, very impressive. Now, Joseph Heese's successful experiments with a 20 rep squat routine definitely sparked a new trend. Once he spoke to Mark Berry or wrote to Mark Berry about this program, um, Mark Berry initially published it in the February 1932 edition or issue, sorry, of Strongman magazine and later was published in August 1932 of Strength magazine and 1940 Iron Man magazine. Um, his success with this routine prompted Mark Berry to promote the 20 rep squat routine in his publication, which began the 20 rep squat trend, as is known, uh, during the silver era, that is between the years of 1930 to 1960s, which helped thousands, really thousands of bodybuilders, in particular hard gainers, to, to gain weight, to gain muscle mass. Although it is a popular routine for hard gainers, the 20 rep squat routine has been exploited and served as a foundation by some of the Iron Game greats. And we are talking about John Grimmick and Reg Park. And this definitely says a lot about the effectiveness of this much forgotten and neglected program. There have been attempts, of course, at reviving this program, such as in the book written by Randall J. Strossen, Super Squats, released in 1989 by Iron Man, uh, sorry, Iron Mind. And of course, on this channel where I constantly talk about the 20 rep squat program, I highly recommend that you try it if you really want to put on some muscle mass and strength. And yeah, basically, if you want to bulk up and put up a, a lot of muscle, do the 20 rep squat program. It definitely works. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the 20 rep squat, I highly recommend you get on my website, www.goldenerabookham.com and check out Rib Cage and Chest Development by Reg Park. I've published this book myself. And it really does go into the great benefits of uh, the 20 rep squat. Reg Park, as I mentioned, used this program. And in this ebook, I describe how he used it, how he used the 20 rep squat to expand his chest, that is expand his rib cage. And in combination with his um, chest development program, really built a phenomenal, a phenomenal chest um, as you can see clearly in, in the many photos that are available online of Reg Park. During the 1950s, he had a massive transformation, and it is said that he put several inches on his rib cage and chest by using the 20 rep squat program, as well as um, combining it 
with things like the bench press, pullover, etc. You're going to find this all in my new ebook, Rib Cage and Chest Development. It's a great, great read. Check it out on my website. And if you're also interested in other programs for strength and bulk, please visit uh, my website again. You'll find Reg Park's original 5x5 routines. Both of these great titles and much more are available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video looking at powerlifting pioneer Joseph Curtis Heese. Uh, it, as I said before, it's, this tribute is long overdue and I have enjoyed uh, reading more about Joseph and his incredible achievements, especially his experiments with the powerlifting techniques that he developed and today where we focused on the 20 rep squat. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me a comment and thank you for watching. I will be producing more in this series, looking at all these other techniques that he developed, such as the he shrug, um, the hopper deadlift, and much, much more. More to come on Joseph He's very, very soon. If you'd like to support my research, please donate via PayPal. Become a, you can become a patron. Visit my website for out of print books um, and courses on old school bodybuilding. And uh, yeah, if you want to get in touch to collaborate or more, just email me. Details are in the description below. Once again, hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. To take full advantage of my affiliation with NSP Nutrition and Old School Labs, please visit their respective websites and use codes GEB20 or Bookworm12 to get a discount off their selected products. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo. I want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.